So to graph y equals sine of x minus um, pi over 6, the first thing I want to do is get as many points as possible, Jamie. So the first thing I'm going to do is determine my amplitude, my period, my x scale, my vertical transformation, and my phase shift. Okay? So we have to go and do that. So we might as well go and get, get all this done. Amplitude, which is our favorite, which is the absolute value of a. You guys notice here I'm not multiplying um, by any other number except for 1. So therefore, my amplitude is the absolute value of 1, which equals 1. The period. Remember, period is going to be 2 pi divided by b. Well, in this case, my b is 1 because 1 is multiplied by x. So 2 pi divided by 1 equals 2 pi. The x scale, remember, is taking your period and dividing it by 4. What the x scale helps us do is scale our graph. All right? Helps us scale our graph. And what we know is that each scale point, we're going to have important points. X-intercepts, maximum, minimums, x-intercepts, and it keeps on going on and on forever. Uh, so the x scale is 2 pi divided by b divided by 4. Well, in this case, I have 2 pi divided by 4, which equals pi halves. Our vertical transformation. Our vertical transformation is D. Oh, I thought you were writing this down. No, Caroline. Our vertical transformation is D. So therefore, that's going to tell you if you're going to be shifting your graph up or down at all. We see that we are not adding anything outside of our function, um, Kobe. So then again, we're not shifting graph up and down. And the last one, we have x minus pi over 6. Phase shift, I'm sorry, let's write the general form first. Phase shift is taking our bx minus c equal to 0. So in this case, I have x minus pi over 6 equals 0. Add pi over 6, add pi over 6. x equals pi over 6. OK? Yes? So if the vertical transformation was not just for the u. Huh? The vertical transformation was not just for the u. It's a d for down. Oh, no, no. Um, it's this one, it's none. There is no vertical It's The vertical transformation is the value of d, which again, in case you guys forgot it already. OK, so now let's go and graph. Now remember, guys, this graph goes on and on and on forever. So how you guys are going to graph this is really dependent on you. You guys can do two in the positive direction. You can do one in the positive, one in the negative. But you need to include two periods. All right, One period is not going to be enough. So make sure you include two periods, especially when you're writing down the information. Okay. So the first thing is we need to know what sign what sign looks like. Remember, sign, ladies and gentlemen, is the graph where um, it starts at its x-intercept of 0, 0. However, I'm just going to call this the starting point. This does not represent the y-axis. This is just where I'm going to start. All right. Um, and actually, you know what? Let me change this. Let's have the start. Let's do a positive and a negative. Let's have the start be right here. All right. Now, where are we going to start? Now, usually, for the sign graph, we could say we could start at 0. But now I have a phase shift of pi over 6. So that means my whole graph is being shifted to pi over 6. So therefore, there's an intercept at pi over 6. Right? The normal sine graph looks like that, where that's at. Um, remember we guys did this, if that's at 0, right? Well, now, and that would be at uh, pi halves, that's at pi. Now the graph has been shifted to pi over 6. So therefore, now the graph looks something like that. right? So I'm just going to start at pi over 6. So that's going to be my x-intercept. Now, pi over 6, now I look at my x scale, which is pi halves. All right? Now, when you guys are getting started, you might want to convert this to different fractional forms to help you out. So if this is pi over 6, that's the exact same thing as 3 pi. Um, over six, um, not pi over six. Uh, pi over six. That's going to be. What do I want to do? I wanted to. No, okay. Um, yeah, it's the same thing as um, two pi over twelve. I'm just trying to think of what I want to do. Okay, never mind. Let's leave this as pi over six. Sorry. If we want to add pi halves, all right. This is what I want to transform. To help you guys out, these don't have the same denominators, do they? So you, to get to the next scale, you have to add pi halves. Well, sometimes 
mathematically that might be a little difficult and confusing for you. So what I would do is instead of write this as pi halves, let's write this as 3 pi over 6. Is that the exact same thing? Yes. But now if I add plus 3 pi over 6, now I'm going to have 4 pi over 6. Now should you reduce this? Of course you should. All right, but I'm going to write down everything right now just so you guys get an idea of how I'm doing this. So there's my starting point. There's the next one. Then I add 2 pi again, which would be 6 pi. I'm sorry, 3 pi, right? So the next one is 7 pi over 6. The next one is 10 pi over 6. Okay, That's four of them. That's 4x scales. That's always going to produce me a graph, especially when I'm writing this down. All right. Um, it's interesting. It really is. So if here's the starting point, I can work in the positive twice. So I could keep on adding 3 pi over 6. Just keep on adding until you do two periods. You could also go in the negative direction. So therefore, this would be negative 2 pi over 6, negative 5 pi over 6, negative 8 pi over 6, 1, 2, 3, and negative 11 pi over 6. Now, again, guys, I would I would, ah, hold on, I'm not done yet. I would prefer that you guys would write this down in your general form. Just hold on, guys, hold on, hold on. You might as well stop the crackling, just give me a second. Um, so now, how does this graph going to look? Well, again, guys, we look at the amplitude. Now, we know zero is gonna be somewhere in here, right? I'm not really too concerned where the y-axis is. We just need to know that this um, amplitude is one. So the graph is only going to go up to 1, and it's going to go down to negative 1. So remember how the graph starts is it starts here. The next point is the maximum, x-intercept, minimum. We actually need one more, 13 pi over 6. So the graph is going to look like this, down, up. Great. We can also go in this negative direction, which would be down, up, down, up. Okay. So that is two full periods of your sine graph.